Welcome to East Coast LT Reviews. Today we are doing another beer review. We are reviewing the Harpoon Dunkin' Jelly Donut IPA. This is a limited release. 5.7% uh, alcohol by volume. I'm just going to get a nice close so it's shot. cool because it has the, the Dunkin' all over it. Yeah, and then it's got a little. So is this like a like got a little jelly donut on? Is it like a collaboration? Yeah, it's an actual so. collaboration with them. Yeah, they actually. Uh, um, you want me to read this, or are you read it? Um, if you want. Uh, yeah, if you want to read the side of it first. All right. So on the side of the can it says India Pale Ale, brewed with donuts and raspberry puree, with natural and artificial flavors and artificial colors added. Harpoon Brewery, Boston, Mass. And, Win Windsor, and Windsor, Vermont. Vermont. Uh, the weird thing, um, this says contains eggs, wheat, and soybeans. Did you read that? I didn't. And supposedly this is brewed with actual jelly donuts. So they're using a raspberry puree, but this is this is one thing I want to point out. So they're using a raspberry puree, and it's got jelly donuts in it, but we don't know if they're, like it doesn't really say if there's they're using raspberry donuts mm -hmm. or like, like what, what is normally like a jelly donut? Isn't it usually like strawberry or like, uh, or like a grape jelly? Yeah, strawberry or, I feel like strawberry. Sometimes you go to Dunkin' and you get, cause if you go to Dunkin', right? And you say, can I get a jelly donut? Sometimes you get like a grape jelly donut, right? It's not always raspberry, true or not true? I think maybe if you get a specific one, I think automatically a jelly donut is Raspberry, yeah, but if you get a specific oh, one, maybe okay. it's great. All right, well, I wasn't really too sure, I just didn't know because I, you know, there is different types of jelly donuts, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, what I mean? all right, Zach's got Bear Advocate pulled up and uh, he's gonna go over everything with you guys, yeah. So, on Bear Advocate, they um, they don't have a score for it right now, but uh, the style is an Indian Pale Ale, um, IPA, um, American actually. So, yeah, so American IPA, right? Uh, yeah. So, and then the alcohol by volume on ABV is 5.7%. Um, it is from, it is brewed in Harpoon Brewery in Bear Hall, Massachusetts, United States, which is pretty cool because that's right here on the East Coast. Um, the availability is rotating and seasonal. It's actually pretty cool. I was reading some of the comments to try to pick up other people's notes, but they're trying to say that you're supposed to get a lot of cotton candy and like sugar cookies on the. Well, fry. I guess I'm guessing it's gonna be really sweet because they use raspberry puree and they use yeah. Yeah, actual but, jelly donuts. Yeah, some guys. What I was thinking it wasn't as good of a like it. It wasn't the dessert beer I thought it would be. So dessert. what I'm thinking, right, is I'm thinking it's gonna be really bready. They're using. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, kind of have like that bready biscuit. -y Maybe a little bit it. of like powder or sugar. Let's crack them over. Let's try it out. Let's go to the color. Guess it's gonna have a little bit of red tint to it. Maybe not. No, I guess not. It said that it's supposed to have some color. Well, we get. I was gonna say we gotta split these two cans. So. Nice. I was gonna say we <coughs> just yeah, just go about even with yours. And yeah, don't use my tongue. That worked out pretty well. That's a good amount. I was gonna say it's gonna work out pretty good. Twenty-four ounces split between three people, whatever the hell that yeah, is. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good amount. Like there you go. All right. So yeah, they said that it's supposed to get. It's supposed to have like a sweet kind of smell uh, to it, also. So. Slightly hazy, not completely hazy. It gets more hazy at the top. To kind of a like golden orange color. Um, doesn't really produce much of a head. Kind of a foamy white head. Um, you doesn't see really big. look like it's going to leave much of a lacing on the glass. Very bubbly. Lots of bubbles in there. Um, I'm not really seeing much sediment. Nope. I don't think there's any sediment. You guys see any sediment in yours? No, I just see a, a good amount of carbonation. Yeah, it. I was gonna say lots of bubbles, um, but like it's like uh, it's like semi hazy. You can still see through it. There's still some clarity to it. But uh, let's go for the nose on this one. Oh, 
That's that's different, huh? Yeah, it's good though. It's more really fruity. Like I'm thinking of yeah, like some citrus, but like also kind of like a passion fruit maybe, like a. I think like a little a bit of raspberry. Like, yeah, raspberry definitely. Or maybe a little bit of hops. I know I'm getting like tropical. So it is an IPA. So I think a um, little bit, but they're not that strong. No, I am getting not. hops, but I think the sweetness from the raspberry. It's got like raspberry, strawberry. Like Zach said, you get a good amount of citrus. You get a lot of like orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely like like mango. Really not. Um, I was gonna say yeah, a little bit of tropical, but not too much on the tropical note. Uh, slightly bready. It, it honestly, in my opinion, it does it does not smell like a typical IPA. No, no not like, like a typical IPA. It smells no, it really, really smell, sugary. It, yeah, it, it doesn't it, smell like. It a, smells like really a sweet. Donut. It makes me really excited for this. Would you say it doesn't smell like a jelly donut? No. It, it just yeah. smells really sweet. It smells fruit, more fruity. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I'm excited to try this. Let's go, let's go for the taste, guys. It's a weird taste. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's good. definitely weird. Yeah, it's, it's good, it's but good. it is weird. I don't know if I like it. It's, it's like. It's, it's uh, weird. I feel I like the mouthfeel would be way thicker. Well, it's got kind of like a light to medium mouth. Yeah, it's yeah. really light body, like medium, light to medium body. It's like in between. Um, it almost tastes like a little watered down. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it does. You get raspberry. You get like a slight breadiness. I was thinking that you were going to get more of a, a rich mouth feel and more of like a biscuity, bready. Well, kind I'm, of aspect a little to it bready, because of like, the donut. Yeah. Like, I get, like, a bready kind of, like, taste that lingers, but I'm not really getting too much cranberry. Uh, I mean, uh, raspberry. I feel like it's I'm got a, a decent of, amount of hops on the finish, though. So. Yeah, it has Rather a than the, hops. um, than the aroma. Yeah. You get a lot more hops on the and palate. And to be honest, it tastes kind of, like, really citrusy. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Like, I'm getting a lot I of, think, like, um, orange and, um, like, uh, maybe like a little bit of tropical fruits in there. Um, yeah, it's weird. I, I thought I would like it a little bit more, honestly. Yeah, well, I think it's good, but it's just odd. Yeah, I feel yeah. like the, the yeah. I'm a little disappointed. I thought it was gonna taste more like a jelly donut. Mm. Well, but I mean, it, like, it. like Zach said, it's an, and you said it's it is an IPA, so I mean. I feel like that's kind of weird how they did do that. Like they try to make an IPA like sweet like that. Well, I mean, I know they have. Some, like, some, some I know this is like. Really the, I know this like IPAs that are like a decent amount of sweetness, like juicy. But like this, definitely more on the um, citrusy side and fruity side. Um, on the palate, I really <coughs> don't get much of a tropical. Do you guys get any like tropical? Um, I get a little bit of tropical, maybe like a slight pineapple, um, a little bit of a, what's it called, like passion fruit. I think this is one of those beers where you start to sip it and it's kind of... It gets worse and worse. <laughs> you don't like it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of, he said it as soon as I took that sip and I tasted a lot of hops in that sip, so... <laughs> well, I mean, I like the hops, but it's I just, don't hate it. It kind of, know? um... I, I wouldn't pick this up. It has an odd, like, I don't want to say. It's weird. I don't want to say it, but it kind of, like, maybe it's the table from Isaac just cleaning it. But I swear to God, it kind of, like, has, like, a like a pine saw. No, I think that's just a citrusy. Yeah, yeah, yeah the the citrusy. I think it's the citrus combined yeah. with the raspberry and then combined with the the donuts. It's making I get it, where you're getting. You're so it's kind of like a chemical-y taste. Not really. It's not really like chemically. It's, it's, like, it's not really like that. Shit. It's just odd. It's like weird. I you feel know like what mixed like with the shit hops, should, it shouldn't just, be going together. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. It's just, this it's stuff kind of doesn't go well together. Like, yeah. Basically, like it, the flavors don't really complement each other, no. which is like yeah, what you're obviously better. looking for in a beer. So Honestly, I think the flavors, the, uh, the complex flavors and everything to match one another. But I think, I think the nose. Really I think it smells better than it tastes. Yeah. To be honest, it does. It does. I can't even front. This kind of smells like that, um, like that, uh, the orange cream skull we had that one week. What was that? That's what it does. The that one, 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 not the, the smell something more not like the that. all scream, the one, the shook, the first one we did, right? The shook ones? Yes. Yeah, Probably because so. the amount of, uh, 
hops and citrusiness. Yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of, it's kind of, um, it's weird how much citrus and hops is coming through when it has such a sugary, um, nose and just the fact that they're using raspberry puree, you would think that it would be more, would be more sweeter in that well, sweet. Well, I don't know. Raspberries it, aren't really that sweet. They're kind I of. I guess. No. Yeah, you're right. They're a little tart. Is it? Was it um, raspberry? Yeah, raspberry puree. Yeah. Do you taste anything like a jelly donut? I taste a like little anything. bready, but the thing is, is that it's more citrusy than it is kind of like fruity. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Zach's totally right. It definitely has more orange. And like maybe like a lemon like, over a raspberry. You know what it kind of tastes like? Like that chemical that you were talking. It tastes like you bit like a piece of the orange peel. You ever bit the piece of an orange yeah. peel and you get that nasty? Kind I was of watching a video. And I think he's called. It's like pith. 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 P i t h. I think. Pith. 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like orange pith or something. I think that's what you're talking about. But. I don't, I don't know, it's not bad, but yeah. it's, not, it's definitely a little misleading. I couldn't have more than one of these a night. And this is something uh, I would grab uh, occasionally, you know. Uh, and I would probably grab them more like... Carbonation's like, good. Yeah, the carbonation is good. Mouthfeel's light to medium. Um, price, I got a variety pack, 12 pack, which had the Jelly Donut IPA, the Coffee Porter, the Boston Cream Stout, which I think we're gonna try this, <coughs> yeah. and then the Dunkin' Pumpkin, which I already did a review on. <coughs> and I think we're gonna do a three-way review on the Dunkin' Dunkin' Pumpkin. <laughs> I, why can't I say that? <laughs> yeah, you said but, you were having trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that one. The honestly, the Dun Dunkin' Pumpkin, the Dunkin' Pumpkin <laughs> is really good, and it's brewed with lactose. Okay. It was one of the first pumpkin beers that I've ever tried that had lactose in it. It's actually really good. Um, but I feel like so that would complement it pretty well. For yeah. a, uh, I didn't even say the price. So I got the variety pack with all those uh, those four. You get three of each, and it was like fifteen in change, which is actually a really good price. Yeah. But how many for craft beer? Twelve. 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 That's not bad. For fifteen bucks. Well, fifteen in t in change. That's not bad. And these are considered a craft beer, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so for a rating, for me, like I said, um, label's kind of misleading. Flavors, it's like, it's not bad, but it's just kind of odd. And like Isaac said, the more you sip it, the more you're kind of like... Nitpicking at it? Yeah, you're, yeah. yeah and you're kind of like questioning in your head what you're tasting. You should yeah. be grosser. It's, it's hard to really put a... a <laughs> you know, that's like some shit I would say, to be honest. What? Like the, the more you sip it, the more gross. No, I don't think it gets more gross. I think it's just <laughs> weird. In my yeah. opinion, like I said, it's just like it doesn't taste chemically, but it just like the combination of all the flavors. Like Isaac said, it's just kind of odd. It has like a very odd flavor to it. Like the aftertaste kind of leaves you with lots of citrus and um that raspberry. I don't know. I think I think uh, this one for me, I'm gonna give a. I'm gonna give it a six and a half because I like the I like the idea of it. I think it's unique, um, but I think it probably could have came out a little bit better. Yeah, they should have done more work to this. I think it could have. I think if they work with this one a little bit more, maybe release it in the future. I think it would be a lot better. I feel like they should have added like at least something more sweet to it because especially a jelly donut. Maybe a jelly add donuts. That's my that's my <laughs> but that's my go to like, for everything, huh? Yeah, but it's just to it. Of, <laughs> add a little add lactose and vanilla. That probably would have yeah. been good. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> they should have added a little bit of vanilla lactose. What did you like, give for a ring? Six and a half. Six and a half. What are we going on for minutes? Fourteen? Uh -huh. That's yeah. not too bad. All right. Fourteen and a half. Alright, so uh yeah, I gave it a um I gave it a six and a half for a recommendation. Um I'm gonna recommend the variety pack, not necessarily this beer. I'm gonna, I don't think you can get this beer in a single or like in a six pack. So I recommend picking up the variety pack and trying them out for yourself. Um, maybe you'll like it a little bit more than I do. But for the beer, if I see if I if you see it in a six pack, if they ever do decide to release this as a six pack, um, I wouldn't really recommend trying it. Maybe grabbing a single if you can go to a store like a big chain liquor store that 
let you buy singles. Buy a single, pick it up, try it for yourself. But I wouldn't recommend you buy a whole six pack because you might not like it. What do you guys think? So you said the availability on this, they're, they were difficult to find, right? Uh, No, not necessarily. Like right now, it's pretty good, but it's more like on the New England side because we're... Duncan, yeah. Yeah, Duncan, All right, and, um, and it's from Boston, so... <sighs> um, so, I mean, what'd you say, 15 bucks for a toll pack? That's really good. Good price, right? That's a great price uh, price for a craft beer. Uh, and so taking that into account and that right now for us at least uh, you're you're able to get them pretty easily this one though this one out of that that 12 pack i'll just say not to cut you off the duncan pumpkin is in my opinion a lot better okay i hope so and i hope that boston cream is better because they're, compl they're completely different beers but i, I like boston the other cream. one a lot better so i'm gonna have to Hit it with a six. I almost want to give it a five. Well, five's like average, middle of the road. The reason why I gave it a six and a half is because it's unique. Who the hell uses jelly donuts and raspberry puree in a beer? You know what would be great? If you could taste the, the jelly the donuts. donuts. Yeah, I guess. That's true. True. No, you're right. What did you give it a six? Yeah, six. All right. What do you What do you give it for a rating today? I give it a three because I really don't care for it. A three? Yeah. Zach. Because it's not, it's not completely. That's not average. Zach needs to listen. Zach doesn't understand the rating scale, apparently. I obviously do. It's just five is an average beer. Okay, three this is, is my terrible. opinion. Yes, it's 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 our. Opinion. I know, I know. I'm not so saying your opinion, opinion is wrong. I'm not saying your opinion <laughs> well, is wrong. But you're trying to argue against my opinion. <laughs> All right, dude. I'm just saying that's not my, arguing. I'm just three. saying three is saying you you think it's a terrible beer. So I you do. think it's a terrible beer? Yeah, but I don't think it's completely no. terrible. That's why it's not a zero. You know what I mean, because I've had one there. There was not a. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I. I just say that one. Do you way. recommend it? This one. Well, here's the thing too. You know what's not fair? You guys haven't tried the other beers, so you're not gonna recommend so, the brand. So we can we can judge it on this beer alone. Well, we can you just know. judge this beer, and to be honest, this one. But that's what I was saying. The reason why I, I say I recommend it, even I wouldn't recommend. Um, buying a six pack, I recommend trying a single if you can get it as a single, which you probably can't because usually I think it's only in the variety pack. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Oh. All right. Yeah. Uh, so you said you don't recommend it, right? You gave it a three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't want to recommend it either. How you feel? I'm fine, I guess. No, what have you had? Drink two beers so far. No. Last review we were doing, you were drinking Miller Lights in the freaking background. It's been a while since I <laughs> drank beer. All right. Oh there you have it. Hey. Um, if there's anything you guys like to see on the channel. It's a beer, beer, there you go. It's oh, not going to waste. Oh. oh, yeah, but we're going to do the rest of the other uh, the variety pack. Like I said, I already did the pumpkin one, so there's going to be a single review. Just me on that one. And then we're gonna get Isaac and Zach's uh, input on the dunk, uh, the Duncan pumpkin. But uh, yeah, there you have it. Is there anything you guys like to see on the channel? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cooking videos. Look at beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.